Welcome to the Guthrie America podcast. We sit down with the amazing people who do life in our community and people who once did, because we believe every story should be told. I'm your host, Hetty Coleman. Today, I'm sitting down with Aaron Patterson Gaskin. Did I say that right? Gaskins. Gaskins. So there's an S at the end of Gaskin. Yes. I spelled it wrong. See? Just like that. And I wrote it down. Gaskins. I put Patterson Gaskins, but I don't think you have a hyphen. You just go gases. Yeah. But we're doing Patterson because That's great. We're here. Okay. So before we jump into this conversation with Aaron, will you please go ahead and subscribe to the podcast and leave a review? It would mean the world to us if you would do that. Also, you can go follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Gut Through America. That would mean the world to us too. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and do this. Sitting down with Aaron Gaskins. Not Patterson anymore, ladies and gentlemen. The woman is married, so don't message me or anything. She's a married woman, okay? Here we go. Erin, how are you doing today? I'm great. How was your drive over from Cushion? It was good. It was good. This episode is brought to you by Trilogy. Trilogy is an independent employee benefits consulting firm. They specialize in custom benefit solutions for employers and do not believe that one size fits all. Their passion is helping employers create benefit packages that attract and retain top talent in their field. Education is the way to employers, employees, understanding and getting the most out of their employee benefits. I just want to tell you, you want to connect with Maggie and her team. They are doing a phenomenal job. This episode is brought to you by Paradigm Shift. Paradigm Shift works with educational groups corporate teams all over the country to unlock every individual's leadership potential through curriculum and team building and so much more. Paradigm Shift believes in learning leadership through experiential learning. There's something special about the act of doing rather than just listening. We want to show you the power of connection through Paradigm Shift. Visit ps.company, you heard that right ps.company, not ps.com, to explore topics, workshops, and curriculums. Let's create positive change together. And I want to vouch for Paradigm Shift. I've done some work with them in schools and in corporate settings. They are dynamite. Go check them out, ps.company. I got to drive through town. The, the first Missy's I went by was way too busy, so I had to go to the one oh, by the high school. Oh, was it crazy? The one by the high school wasn't the one, yeah, off I-35. Yeah. How amazing is it that, I mean, we just jump right into donuts now. We used to just have daylight donuts. Yes. Well, we had spud nuts too. Remember spud nuts downtown? I do not remember spud nuts. Oh, they were awesome. Yeah. Do you remember spud nuts? That was way before me. No, you ain't. <laughs> <laughs> spud, where was it at? It was downtown. I remember that taking me to spud nuts. It was... Um, I was trying to think where it would have been on, I don't even remember what street. I was that little, but we had spud nuts. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, I don't even remember that. Yeah. I just remember daylights. Yeah. But now the amazing, well, I guess if we had two then, but we didn't have two for very long. No. Okay. Well, at least you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, but to have Missy's two locations. Missy's is amazing. And Missy's is like known all over. All over. Where Whenever I go speak different places, I get the opportunity to kind of go mm-hmm. speak sometimes at uh, different places. Missy's and Hoboken. That's exactly. My daughter's golf team swore anytime we played a golf tournament on this side of the state, they knew they were getting Missy's because I was going through and bringing it to them every time. <laughs> We've got granddads who drive over here like once a week to get Missy's after I brought their granddad. Oh, yeah. yeah. After they got a taste yes. of that. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, every time we go to the dentist, uh, we take our dentist uh, and his team. Don't, and now you can't come without. Without donuts, yeah. And it's my wife's fault. And so now if I go by myself, they be like, where's the, I'm like, that is Bernadette's thing. That is not my thing. That, you know what they do? They schedule us in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's intentional. Yeah. It's intentional that, that they uh, schedule us in the morning. So, yes, yeah, so, so two donut shops. Uh, you got Missy's this morning. Uh, tell people about what you do now. You were classmates, so go ahead and yes. drop. Yeah. You, you graduated. Yeah. Give us a little information. Well, and we're getting ready to have a big reunion. We're getting close. Yeah. Um, graduated in the class of 92. 
Um, I have taught kindergarten in Cushing. I'm now, I've just finished my 26th year teaching. Taught that two years of second grade. And, um, but kindergarten is where my heart is and where I'm supposed to be. I've been Miss Erin for a really long time now to a lot of people. I'm now getting the pleasure of teaching some students that I had their kids. That makes you feel really old. Um, but it's a pretty cool deal, too. Now, that's more likely to happen to you a lot earlier than it would some because you're, you're kindergarten. Right. Yeah, I guess. You know, but like, they were kindergartners when I had them, so it's the same amount of time getting through it. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. Now, did you know that you were going to be a school teacher? Like, when did you? Oh yeah. Oh really? That's all I ever wanted to do. Really? Mm-hmm. It was it because of your mom or maybe? But we're like we see two different worlds. She was always high school. She was very high school. Yeah. And um, I, I could do maybe parts of that, but little kids are where. That's where your little jam ones. is at. That's where I am. Yeah. Like there's no other. Mm-mm. What is it that you love about those little kids? Uh, there's a just their personalities. They're real. They're you know they're not trying to impress anybody. It's yeah. just all them. They're authentic. They're yeah. um, and just how they come to you, just excited. I mean, and you get to be a rock star in Walmart and in you know wherever. But they're just they're very happy to see you wherever you are. Yep. What's something that you learned? So okay, what is the goal with? kindergarten what like when they start in september august whatever and they leave in may what are you trying to accomplish with them at at that age um well there's lots of different things academically there's a whole other set that's somewhat of a byproduct as far as i'm concerned i want the academics we push the academics but the big thing for me is just their confidence and their ability to just move on and feel confident and ready to go to the next grade level to just prepare themselves as, as they go through and be ready for whatever they tackle, to know they can do hard things. Mm -hmm. That's something that a lot of people have a hard time with right now. And I want them to know they can do hard things and I can push them to get there. That's cool. What are some things that you show up every day and do, or maybe weekly? I don't know what it looks like for you to schedule that to make sure that that happens for those kids. I really try at the beginning of the year to get to know each one of them and kind of know, I know that sounds Mm -hmm. cheesy, but to know what they need. Some need a mom, some need a push, some need just a teacher, some just need pure academics and they're getting everything else they need somewhere else. Mm. And so just finding out exactly what each one needs, what role you have to play, because there's a lot of hats you put on. Yeah. And so just kind of figure out which one you need for each kid. And sometimes now that we're I'm older, sometimes it's for their parents and I spend time on the phone texting or whatever kind of parenting the parent a little bit yeah. for some of them. Yeah, that's really but cool. But that's a pretty cool deal. In a small town, you get to do more of that, I think. Yeah, because you kind of get a, to know everyone. You're more likely to see these people in the grocery store, doctor's appointment and everything when the ta- when the town is smaller. Yes. Um, so I really like that you're, you're talking about really identifying how different kids are their needs and how they learn and things like that. You and I were kind of just talking about that uh, before we started recording, talking about my kids and, and also your kids yeah. and how they're different in personality and how they go about learning. And some of them have their drive for education. Some of them don't. But when you're talking about how many kids in the class? Um, typically, I have around 25. But I have an aide. I, yeah. I do have an aide most of the time. And um, I have a fabulous aide. Aides are the best. She is she she runs our world. We missed her this last first semester and I had someone else step in, but I've had the same aide for five years now. And oh, that's so cool. we have just Good a thing. We don't we don't even have to talk and she knows what things she does and I do mine and yeah. it's awesome. So but still twenty five kids and you're saying, Hey, I need to figure out the best way to serve each one of these kids. What's the trick to doing that? I think just listening to them, you know, just getting to know them. And and that's one of the things, you know, as a kindergarten teacher, you get that time on the floor. You get that, you know, all those things. And they tell you everything, (laughs) everything. So you just have to listen. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, so in in doing that, do you find a way not to uh, attach yourself to to one or two more than the, the other 23? Um, How do you manage I think, that? Well, just like you have those teachers you remember yep. that you attached yourself to more than others. I think it's that same thing. I'm that person for those kids all the way through maybe. And somebody else is going to be that person for some of the kids that I might not attach myself to as much. Yeah. Um, so I don't think that it's, I think it's a bad thing to say they're favorites, but they just, you have kids. They're not favorites. They're just those kids that 
you're that person for them. And next year's teacher may be that person for somebody else. Yeah. So they're, they're favorites, Aaron. Go ahead and say they're it. They're not. You can say it. Nobody's listening. It's just us in the room. <laughs> but I do have kids. The cool oh, thing about small go. school is you get to have everybody in a family uh, a lot of the time. Uh-huh. Like I get to have all of the siblings in a family, and that's a pretty cool that deal. Is. That is cool to be able to have kids, kids, right? It is. It's it's becoming. And the other thing, one of the greatest things about small town teacher is. I get to be friends with some people I had in class, you know, uh, I, they're, they're my friends now. My first class of second graders, some of them are my closest friends. Um, and that's kind of a how cool does that deal. Feel? It's weird. And I've got one, <laughs> I've got one that I'm probably going to have, or could have her daughter this year. So. And you all are friends. Yeah. And, and we're friends. Her. I had her, she sat on my lap all the way through second grade. <laughs> and, and, and I was that person for her in that she was really struggling with coming into school and had a lot of anxiety with it. And it really changed her. And so it's yeah. kind of a cool thing, though. Cause but it's kind of like your real children, too. Like, they at are some mine. point when they get older, they become like friends. Like yes. They become your buddy. And you just try to manage the respect, you know, yeah. as far as. So, for example, my mom and I feel like we're, we're good friends. Yeah. And, but, you know, I still got to respect her as mom. And, yes. Uh, learning how to, to manage that is uh, super cool. So talking about teachers, let's talk about some of your favorites uh, growing up here in Guthrie. Or not favorites, the ones that you attached yourself <laughs> to. <laughs> well, I was really fortunate because with my mom being a teacher, you know, my whole village was the people who raised me were teachers. I mean, you know, I grew up in the high school. And before that, mom was at the junior high. But I really don't remember that a lot. I remember her being at the high school. So all of those teachers around her, I grew up across the street from Mrs. Hinky. Okay. I, you know, I had, you know, all of those people, um, the Hendricks, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Hendricks yeah. were, you know, um, right there all the way through. Uh, Mr. Pfeiffer, you know, was next door to mom. Uh, yeah. Miss Tarter was next door to mom. You know, just all those on that hallway. Um, Amanda Dagstad, you know, because of Amanda and I was being in the same class. There are all those teachers that, and I didn't even have all of them. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't in half of those classes, but they were part of, you know, who kind of shaped me and who I watched as teachers. Yeah. So that's why when you were saying that, I was thinking like, oh, these teachers, you may not even have in class, yeah, no. but they still invested in you. You still remember them yeah. and, and things of that nature. Um, which school do you remember most? Oh. Okay. I remember the song from Cotterell the most. What song was that? Oh, I'm not singing it. Yeah, tell me. No, it's Cotterel, 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 Cotterel. Oh, C-O-T-T-E-R-A-L. You, you did, no, you didn't go to Cotterel, did you? Oh, yeah. I yeah. remember the song. Um, I don't know. The middle school was a pretty cool place. You know, that was that was a lot of fun. Uh, junior, junior high. high junior yeah. high. Yeah. It's middle school. And so I, junior I, high was that place. Of like you, I felt like you were really on a journey waiting to get to that. More so than high school. Yes. There was just something about Well, you junior were getting high. to go to different classes. Yeah. So that kind of thing and that freedom of that was yeah. pretty cool. And so by the time you got to high school, you had already been yeah. changing classes. So, yeah. yeah, that was the first time really doing that. In sixth grade, did they try that a little bit? We, I don't favorite? remember. I um I had Shellhammer in sixth grade, and I don't remember going to another you don't class. Remember switching. Mm-mm. I thought maybe we switched for science or something like that, or reading. Maybe we had a couple of classes that we switched. Where I had Miss Biggs, mm. and so the uh, favorite hadn't burned when we were there, right? No, it, yeah, it burned was a full after blown school. A, yeah, it was after. Yeah, after us. Yeah. So uh, favor was unique because it was the only school at the time that only had one grade. Yes. It was just sixth grade. So that was a little different. Yes. And I think I kind of look forward to the sixth grade as well because of that. Yeah. Like going over to the sixth, uh, favor and that being the only school. Um, what, what Did you have any pivotal moments in, in high school or anything like that that kind of changed who you were? Or? I don't know. Um, I had in middle school or junior high um, was Paula Bearden was killed whenever mm. she was my youth director. And so oh, that was wow. an incredibly pivotal moment in yeah. my life whenever um, Paula was murdered. Yeah. So that was a major because we, we were very involved in the Methodist Church here. She was my youth director. And so that was, I would say that was probably my most. Yeah, it kind of changed. It changed yeah. everything for yeah. me. It kind of, you know, I, I grew up in that bubble of mm-hmm. being very protected and um, it changed that. Yeah. I think that was, a, a for Guthrie in general, that moment was yes. like wait, this can happen in our town? Yes. Like, this is this is crazy. And so, yeah, um, in high school, now, did you do, we talked about your daughter doing concurrent and mm-hmm. all that stuff. Did you do that in high I school? I did. 
I did concurrent at Langston in oh, high school. Okay. Yeah. I did English. I took English over there. Miss Hendricks did the coolest thing for us. Our senior year, it was um, Zach Overton, Jason Jones. I can't remember who all else was in there. Um, there were like eight or ten of us, and we promised her we would fill a summer school class with kids who wanted to take senior English the summer before our senior year. Uh huh. And um, so she did, and we did our entire senior English class the summer before our senior year. So I had a space in there, and so I went to Langston and took comp one. Uh, now, what did Miss Hendricks teach English? Yeah. Okay. Did she she did junior English. Junior English, okay. And okay. so we talked her into, we loved her, and so we talked her into teaching senior English. Oh. Uh, that was pretty cool. That's cool. It was a really fun summer. <laughs> it was really cool because you'd show up to class, you'd go to the quick stop, you'd get food, you'd show up, she'd let you put your feet up on the desk, everybody hung out, everybody wanted to be there. Everybody talked about taking senior English in in the summer school, but I was like, I cannot imagine going to summer school. <laughs> it was cool. I just don't think that I, I would have made it. <laughs> it was fast, and it was, you were done. I know. Yeah, and you were done. And it was Miss Hendricks, and she was great. And she was, see, I don't think I had Miss Hendricks. Oh, you didn't? I don't know who I had my junior year. I don't even remember my junior year. Man, I don't remember my junior year. <laughs> I remember my senior I had Miss Pfeiffer. Yeah. But I don't remember my junior year. It wasn't pivotal. It was not. No. There was nothing about you. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. <laughs> I don't even, yeah, there was nothing about it. Yeah. Did you take summer English? No. no. Why not? I took summer. You do? <laughs> what do you mean you took summer? Like I did summer. I went to the pool. And oh, 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 I was like, and... what does that mean? You did summer. <laughs> what is that? Uh, that is so funny. All right. So before we jumped on, also, we talked about the pool. And yes. since you're talking about swimming. Yeah. You now work at the cushion pool, and I we were do. comparing that to the Guthrie America pool. It's a little different. <laughs> it's a little different. <laughs> and you worked at both? I did. In yep. high school, I lifeguarded in uh, Guthrie one, one summer, and then I went to the Christian camp after that, and I lifeguarded for them several summers. Uh, Central Oklahoma Christian oh, camp. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did that. But, um, and so through college, I lifeguarded, and I trained lifeguards, and then when I went to Cushing, I taught swimming lessons to for forever until my kids got to the point where they were just too busy. And then now my kids are not really needing me at home and I don't sit at home well. So they needed somebody to train lifeguards and to do that. And um, we're at the water park in Cushing and it is a real water park. For those who don't believe it, we have real <laughs> slides. We have, I mean, the whole thing, everybody comes from all over the place. The prices was great. The price is amazing. Three seventy five. Mm -hmm. So is it just a city pool? It is. Okay. It's just a city okay. pool. And, um, yeah, it's a really cool deal. We do private parties every night except for Friday and Saturday, and we're booked from the beginning of summer yeah. all the way on. What's Within that cost? two weeks. Um, for 50 people, it's $300. Okay. 50 and under. And then from 50 to 200, it's 350 That's for two bad. hours. It's yeah. not bad. Yeah. No, I think here, though, it's like 150 Yeah. But we don't have the slides and, yeah. you know, all that. But still, 150 and have just yeah. invite people to come swim yeah. and hang out. It's, it's really great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how did you end up uh, doing, working at the pool here in high school? I just, I had always been a swimmer, done, you know, swimming lessons and all that stuff. We had a pool at home and I love to swim. So, okay. I, and like I said, I always wanted to teach. Yeah. So I started teaching swimming lessons when I was 16. Oh, wow. And I did a lot of that and yeah. did it through college and uh, worked at a camp in Texas one summer in college. And they had me do all of their lifeguard training. And I taught a lot of swimming lessons there. And so it's just kind of always been my thing to go back to. And so when my kids were older a couple of years ago, they needed that to happen. And everybody who works at our pool is a teacher or an aide. <laughs> so the pool will shut down the last day of July because we all report on the 3rd of August. So, um, so do they shut it down? Yeah, because there's nobody to work. <laughs> we're all teachers. You need to diversify that team or something. <laughs> like It's a pretty cool deal because, you know, those kids that come to the to the water park and they're there every day, yeah. those are the kids that need somebody's eyes on them and yeah. still checking on them and making sure they're okay and... So That's we have really people cool. from the middle school, the high school, 
the elementary schools and we know them. We know their stories. We know, you know, we're making sure they're okay. We're, we're checking on all those kiddos. Now, did you feel the same way whenever you were working at the Guthrie pool? As far as like, maybe not people needing to have their eyes on you, but it was kind of family all summer long. Yeah, I felt like it, it was, was oftentimes the same kids. It was, it was always the same kids. And then you had, you know, the groups that came in at not, on one night a week, you know, job Corps always had one night they came in and mm-hmm. then you had, you know, you had church groups that came in, you know, you had that kind of yeah. thing. Did, um, because of working at the pool, did you find any great stories out of that? Like, um, oh, we have. There are stories that can go on forever. Pool <laughs> stories are like I keep looking at these TikToks of people talking about Walmart and stuff. I'm like, we're like, no, we could do better ones. Just pool stories are great. <laughs> do you have any from a high school that you remember? Do you have? Mm-hmm. Do you remember any of your friends almost drowning or anything like that that you like? No, I remember I fell from the top of those stairs to the bottom of those stairs, and I ended what? up in an ambulance. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, they had to do the Tell backboard for real on that one on me. I went, I was carrying, we used to use these things that were called shepherd's crooks, which you don't use anymore. They're like big poles with a hook on the end that I don't even know if anybody could have pulled someone in with them or not. Oh, okay. And so you had to carry those out to set up equipment and stuff, and I fell down the stairs. You know how slick those stairs can yeah. be. Through they're there. still the same way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You tumbled down. I the... did. So I got put on the backboard and taken in the ambulance. I was good. It was it was fine, but it was yeah. quite the fall. Yeah. Um, so driving over from Cushing, you probably reflected on some Guthrie America things. What what were some things that came to mind? Um, I miss homecoming. We do not have homecoming. Like Guthrie does homecoming better than anybody. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's almost a frozen in time kind of thing. <laughs> it is so cool. <laughs> I mean, the floats, That's what everybody and trying said. to explain to people, yeah. like, you do floats. And when you were a senior, you got off your float and you got on the fire truck. Uh-huh. You know, uh-huh. all of those things. The do mums, they still do that? Yeah. The, it hasn't uh, changed. the fire, the fire yes. truck stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you know, mums and just all the things that went with homecoming. So and they don't do that over in Cushion? No. Homecoming is, I mean, it's a night. The girls dress up. They can't um, do cars on the football field, so we do golf carts Mm -hmm. because we have turf so yeah can't mess that up so they decorate golf carts it's kind of a that's kind of the big deal but it's just not the same it's not the same as those nights working on the float Uh Mm uh-huh those were fun yeah yeah Yeah. and there was a lot of class pride in those you know i mean you were oh yeah it's a competition it was a big deal yeah Yeah. uh, i think like there was a class that won every year through their senior year and i don't know if they won their senior year but uh oh my goodness uh, clark's uh class um, Tammy mm-hmm. Clark's daughter, that that class, they just graduated this year. Oh, okay. Yeah, but anyway, I think they had won like That's almost cool. every year. And the the reason is the parents start getting involved. Oh, like yeah. it becomes a pride thing for the parents yeah, as it well, does. It does. which is great. So I don't even I I didn't even know that other towns did not do homecoming in the way that yeah. Guthrie does. Yeah, I mean we all th- I thought the same thing. Yeah. And then Cushing did away with floats and homecoming parade um, before my husband graduated. So. So what was it because something happened? I think so. I think they all went to trashing each other's more than they were doing their own. <laughs> something like that. But. Things like we're done with this. We're yeah, not doing so this anymore. Would, yeah. yeah. So homecoming, big deal. Are you coming to homecoming this year? Yes, it's the, it's this is our reunion. Th- yeah. It's a 30 year, right? It is. Have we started we have planning? to say that? I think Brian Mays is working on it. Yeah. I keep seeing some Facebook stuff. Have you helped? Are no. You- <laughs> I don't, I wouldn't, I'm not here. I'm there. <laughs> but I have seen, it is fun to see on Facebook calls. that um, they're starting to work on that. Just, That's cool. And to kind of keep in contact with people. I need way. to look into that. Yeah. I have not, I have not heard anything about that. I think that. Brian's working on it. Because don't you pay money? Like, yeah. Is there, there's it depends on what they set up, but I think yeah. so. I think Brian's starting to work on doing wow. some stuff. Wow. I don't, have, have I ever been to a class with you? Yeah, I think I went to a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That'd be cool. Yeah. I guess you got to go to the 30, right? Yeah. Is it 30? Yeah. My goodness. See, my brother nice. graduated 10 years in front of me, so it's his 40. So it's kind of fun to get to see all of that group that yeah. were my big brother's friends. Now, another big event that we have here is 89ers. Yes. What was 89ers like for you? And have you been the one since you great. left? I have. Okay. I've been back to 89ers. I haven't really recently, but we brought my kids back a, a few times. Um, and I love 89 89. How could you not? I mean, 89ers was the thing, you know. The carnival, the all the things that went with it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the carnival keeps uh, feel like it's shrinking. It used to feel like it took over the whole town. Yeah, but now it just it doesn't feel that way. It just kind of has a corner. Yeah. of town now. It's but better though. It's better. It's gotten better. Has it? Yeah. What do you mean? Like it like, was and, good and then it came yeah. down. Now it's coming back up. Well, yeah. Okay. I feel like since we've moved back, like, okay. I feel like it's gotten bigger. 
And yeah. then, of course, COVID kind of messed everything yeah. up. But. Yeah. And it's funny because the carnival, actually, the rides and stuff, they come the week before is the week Cushing has it. And so mm. then they head off down the road and they come uh. to get three. Oh, okay. Okay, so, I did not know that. Yeah. Oh, Cushing. I learned a lot about Cushing since I started coming down there <laughs> yeah. for tomorrow's leader. Yeah. The first thing that I learned was like, you all's basketball stadium is amazing it is for cool. high school. And I was like, oh, my goodness, Guthrie has to step it up. But it's cool. Then they start talking about the oil money that y'all have. We don't have any oil We money do, and we're about to build a new school. I've been in the exact same classroom now for 24 years. And, oh, my goodness. Which is a pretty cool deal because, yeah. you know, it, it's all the way I like it. But – um, they are starting to build a new school. So we will be in a new pre-K through four building. See, Cushing was the exact opposite of Guthrie in that when I went there, we had community schools. So I was in a small school that only, you know, had an area at which, and then Guthrie always had grade centers. Mm -hmm. Well, now we flipped and we've done grade centers at the exact same time. Guthrie flipped and went to community schools. Now what in the world? I know. Guthrie's very spread out now. Yeah. And Cushing we're all within a five mile radius just about. Yeah. <laughs> like community schools do not work for us. We I mean, don't cause need we only school. had two teachers in each building. One great, you know, there was one in some of them and two in the other. When we're all together, there's only six, you know? So, I mean, I think that makes it more resourceful, right? It if does. Working together I miss like some that. of the community feel of just having those kids all the way through, which I think we'll get back whenever we go to, cause right now I'm in a, K-1 center. Okay. And so when we go to pre-K through four, I think it'll be a lot better. Yeah. Well, talking about uh, you teaching 26 years, right? 26 mm -hmm. years. Like, what are some things that you've learned over the years as far as teaching goes that you'd like, if some other teacher was listening in right now, oh, something that you would think about that you would, you would share? Well, I start off each year very nervous. Every year I get Are you serious? Oh, After 26? Gosh, I don't sleep. I have... School, the school nightmares will start here in a few weeks, you know, where you think every name's been erased that you've written down or you, you know, or you have a hundred kids in your class instead of 20, whatever they are. They're, they're funny. Um, but I think just ready to embrace your class whenever you close the door, whatever, everything else that's going on that's frustrating or that's overwhelming, that's outside your classroom doors. Mm. When you close the door and you're in the room, be in the moment with your kids. Yeah. Because yeah. that's where where it really happens. Yeah. That's fun. That's good. And I think that goes back to you talking about listening, too. Mm -hmm. Like, in order to listen, you got to be there. You mm -hmm. got to be in the moment. You got to be taking it all in and everything. That's good. So one of the things that always comes up when people talk about when we sit down with Guthrie Mary is the, the uh, depending on how old you are, the cruising, like downtown yeah. cruising. Yes. It doesn't happen anymore. It doesn't. What, do they cruise in Christian? They used to. They don't really anymore. They They go sit. And which is good because gas prices are really high, I guess. They go sit, but they don't have a real cruise. Like, and this is a really, this is like one of the things that drives me the craziest about Cushing is the Sonic. Yeah. You can't drive like around in a circle. All of the stalls go the same way. So you have to go oh. in the same way on both sides. I don't understand that. I never have. Because first of all, when I got, I was like, okay, which side's the cool side? Yeah. And which side, and <laughs> you can't, but you can't like circle through Sonic. It's weird. So what do you so how do you get out? You have to go out the alley. Oh, so everybody goes out the yeah. alley. So you drive in. You drive in and you go park, out the back. And then when you get ready to go out, you go out the back. Mm -hmm. Everybody goes out the back. Yeah, that it's, is not, kind of, it's not yeah. okay. I don't even know if I recognize that when I've come to. Yeah. I wonder if I drove around the wrong way. <laughs> I'm from Guthrie. Yeah, I'm from Guthrie. I'm sorry. I'm this sorry. Is a circle? I, I did. Like, I've maybe a couple of times in my life I've gotten pulled up. One of them was in Cushion. And the cop was super cool. I was like, sir, I just started daydreaming. I'm so sorry. I can't remember if I ran through a stop sign or, <laughs> oh, no. or started speaking. I think I ran through a stop sign. And he was it was an older gentleman. He was super cool. He's like, oh, it's okay. Yeah, just yeah. stay stay focused. Yeah. So, you know, I just I completely zoned out. I don't remember what I was thinking about. But anyway, so yeah, so did you cruise in, in high school? Oh yeah. Like what was your cruising route? Like, cause that's the kind of know. Amanda and I yeah. were talking about the cruising route. So here's the question. When you get to the temple, uh-huh. Right? Do you all right there, Oklahoma and Capitol? Right. Do you go all the way around the temple or no. do you go up to the to the you go up cul de sac you, thing? You go through you went around the block right there kinda. I mean you did you came back out in front of the um junior high. 
Like you just went around that block right there. So did you go all the way? Oh. I didn't go around. The, we didn't go all the way around the temple. Oh, you made the left before you get to? Just the, as you pull up to the temple, you went left. Okay. Yeah. And then you came back around Came around, the block. Went around that block and then you came back and you went straight back uh, down in front of the junior high. Yeah. That's completely different from. Is it really? Yeah. Huh. Brenda, do you remember? Yeah, we go around the temple. You went all the way around. around the temple. Yeah, because we'd hang out on the oh, you're, yeah, 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 east yeah, yeah, side. Yeah, the temple. the temple by the convenience okay. store. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, that's so. But Amanda was saying because you know the temple has a little cul de sac thing. Yes, she and we did do that, that some yeah, too. Yeah, 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 you, yeah you did go through the yeah. cul de sac some yeah. too. Yeah, uh-huh. I do remember that. Yeah, so that was always saying. So here's another thing: Did you uh, loop through Sonic and McDonald's, or did you just <laughs> no, loop through Sonic and just come back? Sonic and came. Back. You didn't go up to. I don't remember going up. Well, that's not true because then there were some people that would hang out at Walmart, yeah, Walmart parking uh-huh. lot, and so you did go up to McDonald's yeah, some, depending on if people were. There or not. Now, if you made a stop, did you stop at McDonald's, Walmart, or did you go to the carpet store? You remember the carpet yeah, store? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because Or Brian, did you stop at Sonic? Um, probably. We stopped at Sonic, but we stopped at Walmart a lot, too. Yeah. You would, you would yeah, hang out. So you there, hit they any would hang spot. Out. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. was a, because you was a socialite like your son. <laughs> <laughs> you was hanging out a little yeah. bit more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you, you, and then at some point we were talking about, uh, Taco Mayo became a spot, right? Oh, really? I don't. I don't you, remember no? Taco Mayo becoming a spot. Okay, maybe it did. It made it made it. I don't we remember that. We couldn't remember for sure, but we thought that it did. Yeah. Was Taco Mayo here when we were in high school? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Is, Loves was across from loves. Taco Mayo. Yeah, Loves. Yeah. At night. Oh, yeah. It was because I had a wreck in there. Oh. oh. Prom night in the parking lot. My mom's car. Yeah. Which prom night? It would have been. Oh, it was actually my sophomore year. I had gone to do. Do you remember the video store? S and J. S and J. Yeah. Okay. What was it at? Because S and J's moved like three hundred <laughs> yeah, times. I don't remember exact. The last place that. I remember it being was on Division down there. Um, Where the cleaners is now? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. there is a cleaners uh-huh. in right there Right before now. Sonic. If yes, you, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. I think that's where it was. But Scott had asked me to do. He was videoing prom, and so he was going to sell videos. Scott. I think that was his name that owned. S&J, oh, S&J. Okay, okay, okay. That owned okay, S and J. And he asked me to, I did, I interviewed people as they came in to prom my sophomore year. Where is that video? Uh, yeah, we don't need to find it. Oh. But it probably has some pretty classic Oh, 100%. Wait a second. Your sophomore year, mm-hmm. he asked you to interview people when they were coming into prom? Yes, because he was selling a video of all of this stuff. You know, he always had all kinds of stuff going on. Was and that legal? So, what? And so I did. And then I got to go in and we interviewed people and he videoed all the prom and he videoed people at prom and all that stuff. And Oh, was he with you? He was just, he videoed. Okay. Yeah. What? <laughs> I would love to see these camcorders. Yeah. Because that was VHS tapes. Oh yeah, that was VHS. Wow. You don't know where they're at. Oh no. Do we know where Scott is? I hope there are none. I hope they're gone. <laughs> we got to find Scott. Wait, if you're listening to this imagine. right now, if you listen to this and you bought one of the S and J. It would have been the class of 90. Yeah. Uh-huh. It would okay, have been yeah, their yeah. senior year. Yeah. So. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. 89, 90. Yeah. Wow. That is crazy. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And so, then, but that same night you had a wreck? I did. I was in my mom's Honda. We were all at Love's afterwards. And I think the police pulled in. And so everybody went. <laughs> like <laughs> and, <laughs> and I went to back out and I backed into oh somebody. It luckily did not hurt anybody's car, but the car I hit, somebody had rented for prom. Oh. It luckily did no damage to anybody, yeah. but it was uh-huh. horrible. And then I remember going to the payphone and calling my dad, crying. And um, Courtney White was with me, and um, I can't remember who all else was with us. But he was like, is anybody hurt? I said, no. He said, is the car bad? I said, no. He said, okay, then go on with your night. and Come home Here's later. We'll deal cars. with it tomorrow. Oh, wow. Exchange insurance cards. Yeah. Or something like and there that. wasn't, yeah. yeah. And there was no damage. So it was Where's fine, Courtney? Do you, so who do you still keep up with? Is there anybody that you still keep up um, with? I keep up time? with Christy Shine a lot. Um, every once in a while, I, I shoot Jeff Ball a text and stuff. He helps me. Oh, you know, we, we talk about things school wise. Yeah. And, um, any questions I have, he, he keeps me up to date on stuff. Um, Courtney White and I actually, both of us, this last week, celebrated our 25th wedding anniversaries. We okay. got married the same weekend. Oh, wow. In Guthrie. My what? rehearsal dinner. I left my rehearsal dinner went to her wedding reception. Oh. And um, so, yeah, we both celebrated our 25th wedding anniversaries this last week. 
That's cool. So yeah. did you talk to her? I ha- I sent her a Facebook message. Oh, yeah. got you, got you. Where's she at now? She is in the city. She's a lawyer in the city, and she is she's actually an Oklahoma State Regent for OSU. Oh, is she yeah. really? Yeah. Oh wow. She's doing big things. Yeah. Nice. We actually haven't talked in forever. We've sent some Facebook stuff, but not. I would see her periodically somewhere for a little while, and then I have I haven't seen her in a long time. But yeah, I forgot she is an attorney. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what's her last name. Warmington. Warmington. I'm going mm-hmm. to have to reach out to her. I'm going to have to get on the Get yeah. to America podcast. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, she'll be good. Yeah, yeah, she'll be really good. Okay, so we talked about donut, uh, daylight donuts, some things that we would do downtown when we were younger. Mm-hmm. Stop by. Now, did you, were you a donut holes? Like, what did you get when you... When... Double chocolate donut. Double? Talking about donuts. That's your favorite donut, isn't it? It's chocolate yeah, with chocolate. Uh, the cake. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, with the yep. chocolate icing. Yeah. Have you had Missy's? Yes. They don't have them very often. They though. do not. You just got to ask. So yeah, whenever, I know. I'm like always going with my fingers crossed. No, just ask, call before you go there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll do it for you. Okay. So, Hetty said <laughs> he calls before he comes and gets, and gets so it. Okay. Like, oh, that's, yeah. I had to stop because every time I walk in, they would be giving me. I'm like, okay, no. I'm like, <laughs> so, Brenda, you don't know this, but you have two donuts here. Yeah, Aaron brought you two chocolate donuts. <gasps> really? Yeah. Thank yeah. you. You bet. I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> I could be eating them now. But, you know, we didn't, we didn't think about it. We just thought about it. Yeah. But, okay, so Daylight Donuts, where were some other places that you hung out downtown? Oh, God. There was a children's store, um, oh. Bullfrogs and Butterflies, I think. I don't remember the name, the name of it. Yeah, I, I think that was, was it. Was it inside the Victor Mall? Yeah, no. Yes, there was one inside the Victor Mall, but then there was, an. I think, that one was over inside, is it the Filch building? Filch? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. I think yeah, it I was where, in there. I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, right there. On, uh, so once you cross over Division, right? Mm-hmm. And then on your right? Is, is no. that where, um, it was, oh, what is the name of that? There's a restaurant in there now. Boomerang. Boomerang's in there, in that building. It was right there. Yeah. Like, oh, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. It was that. Uh-huh. But, you know, we went to the Victor Mall in middle school. You know, yeah. you went down, you went and had ice cream down in the basement, mm-hmm. the candy shop. The That was the coolest thing. That was the coolest thing. Whenever Guthrie got that, I was like, Guthrie's right. <laughs> that was the other thing. Like, <laughs> we junior, have a mall. I think that's what yeah, made junior got a mall. high so cool is that you could walk from the junior yeah. high after school yeah. down there, yeah. get ice cream, yeah. get candy, yeah. hang out down there. The yeah. Kids still do that now. They do, do that they? now. Yeah, they walk down the, uh, like there's the a coffee boomerang. shop, Rick's, Boomerang. Oh, yeah. Ice cream spot. Yeah. Okay. yeah, now the ice cream, there's a new ice cream spot called Yum Yum oh. in downtown Guthrie. And so, uh, yeah, so it, yeah, because if you drive through town at three something, there's kids. That's cool. Everywhere. And so, I know, I love that. that I, I love, love that. that. I love that. And hopefully we continue to create spaces for them to do that. Yeah. The YMCA has a teen center upstairs, but it just hadn't really picked up traction, but uh, those kind of things. Because I love seeing people walk. I try yes. to walk. I, before COVID, I tried to walk everywhere I could. Right. Coffee shop to my meetings and all that. But uh, COVID kind of changed it. And then we moved. So we were living here. Where mm-hmm. We're right now. Then we moved up by the temple. It's just that look, that couple of blocks, you know, that it just doesn't. <laughs> makes makes a, difference. a big difference. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, you can't walk to a meeting and walk back within 14 minutes. Right. Where now it takes 30 or 25. And yeah. it's just like, I can't do it as myself. I'm going to buy a scooter. You know, like the lime. Do y'all do lime scooters and stuff in Cushion? No. No. Do they have them here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, now they got the, the bikes. bikes. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what I haven't seen the we bikes. We have to yet. try it. I've never tried the bikes. That's cool. Yeah. yeah no, we don't. I got a bike at the house. But wait, are they electric bikes? Yeah. Oh, oh. so you don't have to I mean, power. I would assume they're lime. Hmm. Why would lime not have electric? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I need to get I'll app. be disappointed if <laughs> I'd be very disappointed. <laughs> if they expect me to pedal when I yeah. go, I got a bike at home. No I do do <laughs> but my question would be, why would you, you already have the scooters. Why would you need bikes? I don't know. What would make me grab a bike versus a scooter? Maybe you don't balance as well. I feel a little well. bit more stable on a bike, maybe. Yeah. I don't know, though. Maybe the Which balance. I would. Hmm, I don't know. Or you're carrying stuff. When I see somebody on one, I'll be like, now, why'd you pick that over there? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's there. a basket on yeah. the bike. Uh-huh. I think there's baskets on the bike. On the lines? Yeah. Possibly. I don't know. Well, that's cool. That's okay. cool. Okay, so Children's Store, Victor Mall, yeah, hanging out the there, Mall, walk yeah. down to the Victor Mall. Yeah. Was there any other store? I can't think of anything. I mean, we did spend a lot of time in the video store because you were there picking out yeah. your videos. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. what about Baker's Bridge? 
Oh. I never did Baker's Bridge. You don't know about Baker's no, Bridge? No, I did not. Aaron was a good kid, okay? <laughs> Nobody... <laughs> The kids that I'm thinking of right now, when you said Baker's Bridge, those kids were hoodlums. I went to Baker's Bridge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, I will Point. say one thing that is a big change is, and uh, there was the children's home. We called it the children's home. With yeah, the yeah. Elm. It's Driscoll House, right? Did you go in the children's home? I did not. I babysat across the street. <laughs> and on, that was on Elm Street. Oh, okay? Elm Street. You know, Elm Street dead ends uh, into that. And yeah. so I spent a lot of time babysitting at that corner. And that was a scary place. And now it is the place to get married. We have people from Cushing that yeah. come over to get married. People yeah. from, you know, it's the place to... Yeah. To it's do crazy, all that, isn't and it, it is. It's crazy. I'm like, you all don't understand what you this place no looks like. You have like, no I idea. Have no idea. behind there, and I would understand. watch kids going in and out. And I was like, it was a place everybody went and got in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and you were not there. Yeah, just I like watched, you were not yeah. at the Baker's no, Bridge. I wasn't. Yeah. Not much. Upstanding student over here. Okay. <laughs> I was not. No, I had a mama that was in the yeah. high school that knew everything that happened. Yeah, so Bernadette, talking about our kids in high school, Bernadette was working at the high school. The reason she was working at the high school, one of the reasons it was, uh, the main reason was because she wanted to be there when our students, right. when our kids got there. Then neither one of our kids went. <laughs> I was like, why am I? They bypassed you. Yeah, they just went online. <laughs> they was like, we're not going to school. She's going to be there. Yeah. Yeah, so now they, they, they go to school online, which is so funny that, uh, to think about. But uh, um, So what, what are some things now that you see in Guthrie that you think like, oh, I wish we would have had that? Red Brick Nights. Missy's. I think I haven't said Missy's, <laughs> definitely. Um, what else? You know, just... I think it's really neat that Guthrie has held on to those things like homecoming and 89ers and, you know, they really have done a good job when a lot of other communities have given up on those mm-hmm. kinds of things. Guthrie's done a really good job and of it holding on to much. that. Yeah. You know, and I did in um, junior high and high school, we did the Christmas tours and I would, you know, dress up and do all the things and do tours through houses and, and that stuff I, still goes on. And I Wait, mean, were just, we doing that when you were, when we were in high school? Yeah, they did. Oh, I thought the stuff came tours. later. Oh, no. I did it when I was in high school. I gave tours through, you know, you learned all the history of the house, yeah. and then you'd dress all in period dress, and they'd come through, and we'd do the tours. Of, but I thought yeah. that was new. I, I didn't did know anything too. about that. No, we did it. That's wild. But did y'all do the Victorian, like, the downtown? The Victorian walk wasn't happening. Okay. This was the the home Christmas tour, yeah, tour. Yeah, uh-huh. was going on then. Yeah, so th- I think what they did was, well, I, I, I didn't know that until now, that that yeah. was even going on then. But I guess they combine the two, the Victorian mm-hmm. walk with the, that, because it happens the same. Okay, yeah. It happens on the same weekend yeah. or whatever now. So that is so crazy. Like, I didn't know a lot of stuff happened in Guthrie until I started working for the Chamber of Commerce. Right. Or probably my second, when I came back in 2007, we got way more involved in yeah. a lot of stuff. And so I'm like, oh, I didn't know this existed. Existed. And yeah, for a long time. I, yeah, yeah, for a long time. So like the Bluegrass Festival. Yeah. That had been around since the 90s. Well, didn't um, cause didn't Byron start that? Yeah, yeah. And when he used... very first came, he started that. Didn't yeah, he? but I didn't know who Byron was when he first. Yeah, came. but I guess it was downtown too when it first started. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Then they oh. moved it to the flats or yeah. whatever. And so I'm like bluegrass, but I wasn't gonna be doing no bluegrass. <laughs> so, <laughs> but now they, I go down there to greet though. Yeah. So they invite me to go greet and, yeah. and high five folks when they're coming in, which is is, is super cool. Um. So the cool thing that I learned about you is that you spent time in Cushion and not you just going to Cushion to teach was not just a happenstance. Like yes. your family's from Cushion. Yes. Like when you compare the two towns, Cushion versus Guthrie America, like what are some of the different? Obviously, we're probably a little bit bigger, right? Yes. Guthrie's bigger. Um, and so that that's definitely a difference. But Guthrie still had that small town feel mm-hmm. very much so. You still knew everybody's, you know, kind of thing. So I think I had that. But. Um, Cushing is very much an oil town. Yeah. Um, always has been. When I was little, it had two refineries that were going. They both, they shut down when I was really little. But um, it's the pipeline crossroads of the world. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. you know, so we do have that. But a lot of those people don't live in our community. So um, that's another, you know, issue. A lot of those live in Stillwater and things like that. So it is still a very much a small town. Yeah. And, um there's a lot of great history there, though. It's a great place. Like, both sets of my grandparents were there. So, it was a pretty magical place for me. They've always had a really 
nice um, youth center. My great, my aunt and uncle um, really were big in starting a youth center there, and they've got great kids yeah. sports and a nice facility, and all of that's ran out of there. And so you said cool like deal. they got baseball. They run all baseball, that but they also have it's also got a basketball gym in it, and handball and racquetball courts, and mm-hmm. weight rooms, and and it's still. Forty dollars for the entire year as a wow. member, and you go and you have weight rooms available, and what? you have basketball, and there's um, a little arcade right there. But then there's also a room full of um, treadmills and all the machines and all that stuff. Yeah, so that's a pretty cool deal. So is it? A, is it I'm assuming it's a nonprofit. You it's got, city owned. Oh, it's city owned. It's city owned. But your family helped start it. You can. My aunt and uncle did. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's owned by the city. Yeah, they were kind of part of the big push for it. Um, oh, got you. My, and, got you. Um, yeah, it's actually named after my uncle. And um, it's it's a really cool place. It's a neat thing. It's for, you know, it's got something for everybody. There's also an art center in there that um, two ladies did an art endowment. And there is a, I believe he's three-quarter time artist that's there all the time. So your kids can take art classes. My kids did when they were little. And you go in once, twice a week, whatever, summer art classes and do pottery and painting and sculpture and all kinds of things. And they're like $5 a class, $10 cool. a class. Now I feel like, what's the movie where the guy, he works for the, um, the uh, he works for um, the lady, she's an editor or editor in chief or something. And she ends up having to marry him so she could stay in the, the uh, proposal. The proposal, and okay. she goes to his his town. And oh yeah! Like all the stuff in the town is based around his family. That's yeah. how I'm feeling right now. But you, no, <laughs> yeah. no, just just that, one. Just, that. just that. That's just my that. yeah. That's definitely yeah. yeah. No, but it, like it's they were it's the cool, cool ones in the family. Yes. <laughs> it's cool to learn this about you because yeah. I didn't know. Like yeah. I just thought you your connections were Guthrie, but yeah. It's, it's like no, I'm from yeah. Cush, like I'm from Cushing I, in I the kinda, sense, yeah. you know, like right. you you have dual citizenship. Yeah, we've always teased our kids that if I'm not related to him, my husband was. <laughs> so you better check before you go. <laughs> dig because, deep, yeah. Dig deep, yeah. Learn yeah. A there were bit some about. whatever because you did go to community schools and they're really small. So then when my daughter went to middle school, I was like, yeah, that's your cousin. <laughs> and we just kind of you know kind of thing. Mama found yeah. this cute yeah. boy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and that no. she was like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's your first cousin. Didn't <laughs> quite have that, but he was close. So. Yeah, growing up in a small town and being related to everybody yeah. is like common. Yeah, right. It is. So you got to be is. really aware of who it you're is. who you're related to. Yeah. Well, that's so good. So good. So, oh, first job. So you work at the swimming pool. Was, did you have another job that you did in Guthrie? Um, I worked at Central Oklahoma Christian Camp. And, um, I basically, those, that's really all I did as lifeguard. I just worked in the summers and, um, I babysat a lot during the school year. Okay. And those are kids that I'm still really close to that are really, uh, yeah, that's cool. Leanne Rice. I babysat Leanne. It's Leanne Bennett now. And, um, then the Hazelwood kids, they had a little sister, Sarah, and I babysat her a lot Okay. and they moved on to Shawnee when she was pretty little, but that's so so cool. Still close to them. So, uh, when you hear choose Guthrie, mm-hmm. what does that mean to you? Oh, that one's actually pretty easy for me. And even though I live out of town, it means Missy's every time we come through. <laughs> it means trips to Hoboken. My daughter, we love Hoboken. Yeah. Um, it also means we have got all our friends. We do a summer, every summer we come and do the drive-in. I was really sad because I thought it wasn't going to open this summer. Oh, why? Because it opened later. It, okay. It didn't. I they weren't putting anything out for a long time. That was one of the things I texted Jeff about. I was like, "What's going on with the drive-in?" <laughs> Jeff, what do you know yeah, about what this? Do you know, yeah. I know you know everything. <laughs> and um, so that was a big deal. And yeah. we do that. Um, just I don't know. I'm making sure my kids knew how yeah. great growing up in Guthrie was, and you know they love 89ers. They have they have certain things that are their memories of Guthrie that my parents gave them, but. Um, I don't know. It was just a pretty cool place to grow up. That's it cool. It really was. Cool. Thank you for sitting down with me. Yeah. That's yeah. Fun. I so appreciate it. And uh, it's always great to connect with you. And uh, it's, I, I tell, we were just talking, I think Cushion has become a, one of my favorite spots. And so uh, I really think Cushion's a cool town. And I get to go hang out uh, every once in a while. And so uh, to those of you who are listening, thank you for listening. Or if you're watching, thank you for watching or watching, watching, wherever you're at, watching. And um, make sure you do go and subscribe. Also, go pick up yourself a Guthrie America tea from 
Boutique 206. I think they're moving right now. So find them online and get you a Guthrie America tea. A uh, shout out to Trilogy for uh, being our sponsor, uh, for making sure that we are fulfilling our mission of having every story told uh, in Guthrie America or connected to Guthrie America. And hopefully your story be next. Mm, see ya. I was going to say go in, but this is not Heavy Coma Podcast, but you I don't know. say it. That's it. Okay. No. Go. Win. Win. There you go. <laughs> See? <gasps> Boom. You killed that. I don't know about that. It was good. It was you a lot of rambling. No, it was fun. People <laughs> love that stuff. I rambled a lot. That's all no, you didn't. No, that was good. Yeah, it was good. You did great. I rambled a lot. That was fun. <laughs> we did a lot that, of laughing. Part of that, so now on, you know, well, it's hard because every movement I hear myself, I'm like, oh, that would be I wore hard. the wrong pants. These are like loud pants. Yeah, I can't do. I can't do anything. <laughs> you couldn't move. You're frozen over there. Yeah, I was trying to get up, to take pictures, and I was like, well, you gotta, <laughs> so what you do is just mute it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let me know how to do that. I actually see mute right here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You can mute just that mic. Won't that change the sound a little bit? Yeah. It won't make it sound weird. Okay. No. Or you can just turn it down all the way to zero. Mm. You're smarter than just me. Little by little, learning. Well, it was fun. It was. Thank you guys. Good times. Did you get pictures? I did. Awesome. So the picture will be a car. Uh, a car. Have you seen the? Yeah. Okay. So we. We use an app to make it look just so it helps stand out, uh, mm -hmm. make it look feel different and everything. Okay. So, the whole month of uh, July, I'm doing all teachers or educators in some of the education. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Did so, you? So, the only pictures I got were like from the side. I didn't for okay, that character. Okay, I was like, I don't know if you want something. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> I mean, you could still, you could still like just. What are you gonna do it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> she's like, oh, geez. that's really close. <laughs> I like her taking a better shit over there. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, one, two, three. I got it. Uh, I think I got it. I need to put my glasses. <laughs> put your glasses on. Yeah, that's good. Boom. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs>